Welcome to Chamber Chat on the Road with Mary Beth Horton. This weekly program is focused on keeping you connected to your community, the place we call home, where we work, play, and raise our families. Featuring updates on economic development, the latest news on businesses moving into our area, networking opportunities, and upcoming community events for you and your family. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you enjoy today's program. Now, here's your host, Habersham County Chamber President, Mary Beth Horton, and her special guest. Happy September, everybody, and welcome to Chamber Chat. Our on-the-road journey begins at a place that I think everybody in Habersham County knows, Windstream, which is now Kinetic by Windstream. And we at the Chamber are particularly fond of Kinetic by Windstream because they're the ones who produce this wonderful program that you guys are watching right now. But that certainly isn't all that they do, and in fact, they've undergone a lot of really big improvements to this company, and I wanted to learn a little bit more about it. So we're in the Kinetic Production Studio right now, but in just a moment, we're going to head next door and meet with the President of Operations to learn more about all the changes being made to Kinetic by Windstream. I'm here with Jay Berkshire, who is the President of Operations for Kinetic by Windstream for the whole state of Georgia. So thank you for letting us uh, be here today to have you on the program. What is Kinetic? Yeah, great question. So Kinetic is the energy moving around us all the time, right? And part of our investment strategy here at Windstream is to grow the business and provide a next-gen solution, mm -hmm. um, provide next-gen technologies, software solutions, not just the internet, not just phone, but we do all that. So how do we provide uh, what customers really need and want to connect globally with the rest of the world? And you guys have done a lot of major improvements, um, and I know there's a lot of really exciting things on the horizon, so tell us a little bit about what all's been done these past couple of years, months even. Yeah, and so since 2016, we've invested roughly $347 million into our network. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of that here in just a little okay. bit where we go into the central office, what we call the central office. Um, and that's where all the network really comes in and, and moves about to get you connected to the internet. Um, part of that investment too is in our people. We've invested a lot in training our people, in training in new technologies, and in the solutions. Uh, we've become a cloud-based solutions company. We can provide cloud-based solutions for our business customers mm -hmm. and even our consumer customers if they so choose. Now, um, you guys employ a good number of people up in this area. How many employees do you have? Yeah, so statewide, uh, roughly 1,150 plus. Uh, here in North Georgia, three to four hundred, and that's all of the Northeast Georgia footprint. Okay. Uh, and you'll probably get to see our call center. I hope here in just a little bit. Yeah, with absolutely. Carrie Thompson. Yeah. So uh, it's it's something to see. It's it takes a lot of people to make the internet work and to keep customers in service. Well, I love everything that you guys are doing, and I know, um, speaking on a personal note, I'm, we're we're customers at at home, and we're customers at the chamber, and. Um, one thing I really love, we just got an upgrade to our internet service, so appreciate that. Yeah. And um, we also have the, the streaming, um, you guys have a streaming channel. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. We do, and so the service you have is cable modem. We upgraded our cable plant. We bought a company called Teleview way, way, way back. And uh, upgrading that to Doxis platform, mm -hmm. which provides uh, internet traffic, um, broadband. And the service that you have on top of that is a streaming service, much like any other streaming service today, a couple are like YouTube TV yeah. or Hulu. Uh, it's our branded uh, TV service that you can stream. It has DVR backup and menu and guides just like the traditional cable TV service does, but it's streamed over your internet connection. Yeah. I and you can that. use it on multiple devices. Mm -hmm. so. And that's uh, that's where everybody's going right now. So right. kudos to you guys for staying ahead of the curve. And right. also you can watch this show on your streaming device. Yes. So um, for folks who are watching who might want to know a little bit about how they can uh, upgrade their plan or how they can go to find out more about your service, where, where, where do they go? Yes, as always, you can go to windstream.com or we have a retail store location right here in Cornelia at 282 Furniture Plaza, which is over near Walmart. Mm -hmm. Or you can call us at 706-778. 2500. So I think now uh, we're going to take a look back into your central office where all of the magic happens. Yeah. So um, so let's head that way and take a look at it. All right, sounds good. Okay, so we're here in the central office, or it's like the brains of 
your company. So tell us a little bit about where we are and what we're seeing here. Yeah, today, so we're standing in a central office and this is where all the behind the scenes magic really happens with the internet. Behind us is a lot of the electronics that make and empower the network so that internet traffic can flow seamlessly in and out of your home. And so when you're streaming that movie, it comes through this box, right? It comes through here, goes to the, what we call the drain in Atlanta, and that's how we talk to the internet. Wow. So everything comes back to and through this one location here in our region for Cornelia. This would be the hub. We call it our central office because it's centrally located to the entire network. And there are rows and rows and rows of these units. I don't even know how you guys keep up with all these wires, right. but you have very uh, skillfully trained technicians that if yes, something goes wrong, how do they know wh where to find the problem? Right. So technicians, they start at the home, right? And they trace it back like any other problem. They want to start there and make sure that the signal, if it's not getting to the home, we're going to trace it back to the network. And it may be something between here and there, or it may be here beyond. Yeah. But we have to verify that before we impact any other customer service. Wow. So you were explaining a little bit before off camera, um, like when you're when you're streaming Netflix or any of those other uh, streaming things, um, it all of that communicates through it. Everything comes through here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, essentially the uh, the mega highway, right? Everything comes in here in like a roundabout. Yeah. It comes in and goes out to where it's needed location is to retrieve the data. If you're streaming from Netflix, it's going to go to some server where Netflix is sitting. It's going to pull that data back, send it through here to wherever the land IP address is, the location. So your IP address on your modem at home, that's how it knows where to send the information to. Wow. Any idea how many wires or connect connections are in this room? Millions. Millions. Yeah. yeah. And it costs millions of dollars to yeah, keep them going and and to invest in. So a lot of our infrastructure and our network integrity is right here. Right. It is not just the, the box or the pole outside of your house, but it's getting it in and out of here to the internet. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of electronics, a lot. You can see a lot of wires that look really complicated, but each one of them have a, have a purpose. Yeah. So. And I think it's fascinating for, for folks watching, you know, you think, oh, it's just so simple. Just plug it back in, you yeah. know, and everything will start working again. Right. But there, there's, there's a whole lot of math and to yeah. all this i mean there's yeah. really a whole lot so yeah, it kind of making me nervous because the closer you get because I, I don't want you to hit something i'm and not going to touch gonna, anything no, I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> this is why i work at the chamber because this is way over my head but <laughs> i'm glad you know this and thank yeah. you for letting us come take a look at this Absolutely. when we come back we're going to talk to carietta with the call center stay with us more talk coming up on today's chamber chat we'll be right back with mary beth and her guest Finally, TV made for you. Introducing the all-new Kinetic TV, the next generation of entertainment. With multi-streaming, watch different programs on multiple devices at the same time. Over 10,000 video on-demand movies and shows. Plus, Kinetic TV gives you the power to instantly watch 72 hours of previously aired programs with replay. Never worry about forgetting to record a show. Experience the future of entertainment with Kinetic TV. All right, we're joined with Carietta Thompson, who is the director of the call center. So thank you for being here. Sure. And tell us, tell us about the call center. So currently right now in our call center, we have 125 employees. So a lot of people don't realize that in Baldwin, Georgia, where our uh, headquarters is, uh, that we employ that many people. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it is. And we answer incoming calls. So we answer incoming calls for 16 states wow. that handle um, cable TV, uh, phone service, internet service. So we're always answering those calls for those customers that call in. And how many calls do you set, do you think around a day or a week do you get? Uh, around a week, we get about 20,000 calls a week. Wow. Yeah. That's it's incredible. A lot of calls. Yeah, that is a lot of calls. A lot of phones ringing. So um, with all the changes we just heard about coming, I'm sure that you guys are uh, needing more people to help fill the this growing, you know, things that you've got going on here. So y'all are hiring. Correct. Okay. So absolutely. We are always looking for good, well-qualified people. You don't have to, you have to have a high school education. Okay. Uh, have to have some computer skills. We like for you to have those and then good communication skills, just being able to talk to people because yeah. that's what we want to do. We mm -hmm. want to take care of our customers. That's why we're called the care center. We want to take care of our customers who call in and give them the best, uh, the best internet service and everything we can provide for them. 
when's the next hiring opportunity? How do folks find out about it? I love to talk about the fact that Habersham has jobs because we do and uh, this is a great opportunity for folks. So how can they get in touch with you about uh, getting employed? So you go to windstreamtalent.com, you apply online, we will give you a call and do a phone interview and then we call you in for a face-to-face -face interview Okay. and then we let you know. So our next class, we currently have a class we're hiring for right now Okay. of 22 people and uh, we will have another class in November of 18. And then we have, uh, uniquely, we have a residential inside sales group and they will be hiring as well. So there's tons of opportunity for people. So if you're looking for a great company and a great uh, job, uh, with great benefits. Come and stay right here in Habersham right. County. Absolutely. So sharpen up your resume and, and get it over to you guys. And uh, well, thank you for yes. telling us about this. Appreciate you guys being on the show. We'll be right back. Stay with us. More talk coming up on today's Chamber Chat. We'll be right back with Mary Beth and her guest. Leave your old TV service behind and experience the future of entertainment with Kinetic TV. The next generation entertainment designed with you in mind. With just a few clicks on the new Kinetic TV guide, you can record one show or a series, plus the power to replay and instantly watch the past 72 hours of previously aired programming. Access your recordings on the go with Cloud DVR. Kinetic TV, the next generation in entertainment. Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is another well-known organization in Habersham and they have a pretty full calendar of things that they do in our community. The Habersham County United Way is celebrating their 40th year here and we thought it was fitting to highlight their program on our program. So let's meet with some of the people who have dedicated themselves to making the change in this community. Okay, we're here with Billy Boyd, Executive Director of Habersham County United Way. Thanks for being part of the program. Thanks for having me. 40 years here in Habersham. Yes. And there's some history. Tell us a little about it. Where do you want to start? <laughs> 1878 or oh, 1971? Well, let's start in 1878. Uh, a Denver woman, a priest, a rabbi, and two ministers. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. I was about joke. to say. Truthfully, they came together in Denver and uh, decided that coming together, uniting as one, uh, they could affect their community better than just individual charities mm -hmm. taking care of the needs there. And that was the roots of the beginning of United Way. And uh, fast forward to 1971, here in Habersham County, um, there was a group of people that came together and received a charter from United Way. For some reason, I, I, I don't know what the reason was, but they did not become active uh, until 1979. Okay. Um, and guess what? What? They, a group came together at the Chamber of Commerce. There you go. Came together at the Chamber of Commerce and decided that they were going to make this uh, local United Way active. So 1979 was the actual active part of United Way coming to Habersham County. And since then, we have done this year's the 40th campaign wow. in our community. You guys do so many wonderful things. Now, how long have you been with United Way? I've been with United Way five years. Okay. I and was with Habitat for Humanity that's prior right. to coming yeah. to United Way. Now, over these 40 years, now how many partner agencies do you guys have? Right now we have 22. I don't know about, I looked uh, in the past, there was a smaller number but the number has stayed pretty consistent at 22 over at least the last 10, 12, 15 years. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're going to talk in a minute to Heather Senyard, mm -hmm. um, your board president, about some of the uh, campaign fundraising that you guys do. Um, but it seems like you guys are into something all year long. So, which is great. I mean, you see your name everywhere and you're so involved and I know it's such a huge benefit to the community. So for folks who are watching and, and want to get involved, how can people volunteer or make contributions? What, who do they contact? They can contact me at our office uh, here in Cornelia. Uh, the phone number is 706-778-0620. Our website is havershamunitedway.org. Okay. Uh, there's volunteer information there. Also, our agencies are listed on our website, so you can actually see what our agencies do, mm -hmm. who we support, 
and also a contact number for each agency there. Okay. Um, we do have opportunities coming up in our campaign year for volunteers, so we'd love to have um, extra help. One thing that's unique about United Way is that we fundraise in our community and then we ask our community to sit on panels to allocate the funds that are raised here. So that we ask folks to uh, support us. Sure. But we also asked our community to disperse those funds in a way they see fit to meet needs in our community. Yeah. Do you have a favorite event or campaign that you guys have uh, done since you've been part of it in the past five years? Um, the night at the Derby was a pretty That's unique a good fundraiser. Yeah. That we, we rolled out for the first time last year. Very successful. In fact, we kind of outgrew our venue well, the first time we did That's it. That's a good problem to have. Yes. So we're looking forward to doing that again in February okay. of next year. And we're going to come right back with Heather and let her tell us a little bit more about it. So thank you so much for, for being here today and for all that you do in this community. Mayor Beth, thank you. Stay with us. More talk coming up on today's Chamber Chat. We'll be right back with Mary Beth and her guest. Out with the old and in with the next generation of TV entertainment. Kinetic TV has arrived. Get settled in and binge watch Kinetic TV's thousands of on-demand titles. Watch different shows on multiple devices at the same time. Plus, at any time, instantly watch three days of previously aired programming from the Kinetic TV Guide with Replay. TV just got better. A never-ending variety of great entertainment is waiting for you on the all-new Kinetic TV. Okay, we're back and we have my good friend, Heather Senyard. She is the board president for Habersham United Way. Yep. And you sort of oversee a lot of the fundraising stuff. That's sort of your thing. I do, and uh, obviously from our previous careers, we, we kind of yeah. did that. Yeah. Um, but I, so I can vouch for your good event you, planning skills. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I, I actually was the campaign chair for a couple of years previous years so yeah. I, it was an easy transition into so you know what you're doing spot yeah so you guys just recently kicked off the campaign fundraising for the year mm -hmm. and that just happened this this past month correct yep and we, tell us a little bit about that so we normally try to do a like a family fun day mm -hmm. and we invite our agencies out that we support and and ask them to come and maybe do a family fun activity, but also bring information so that they can share with the community what yep. they do so that people are more informed about what United Way does and what our agencies do that we support. And so it uh, brought out a lot of people mm -hmm. um, downtown Cornelia. Yep, at the and so park. that's great awareness for you guys to kick this off. So what is the theme for this upcoming year? For this year, it's change today, hope for tomorrow. So we are hoping that people will understand that the impact and what they do today is going to actually make a better future for all of us. And here. you guys have several events lined up. So I know that there's one coming up um, uh, later this month. Mm -hmm. Um, tell us about that. Well, October, yeah. So okay. We, yeah. So um, it used to be in September, but we've moved it this year because it's, you know, a logistical circus act I think sometimes trying yeah. to figure out when someone else isn't having an event that it's, you're going to conflict with yeah we want to make sure our agencies aren't doing something and then also if there's a UGA home game we try to schedule mm, around that might so. as well just forget <laughs> it but it's the clay yeah, shoot it is it's the clay shoot and we love this event we've had a great great turnout every year it gets bigger and better every year we do it out at um, a property in Clarksville past the the technical college okay. and we have a great company that comes in and provides the equipment and they run everything and we have volunteers that help facilitate and manage all the stations each each year and we've had a great turnout from people that that uh, some that have never done it before and yeah. come experience it um, and then you know experienced shooters do it too but a lot of a lot of companies have supported it and how many years have y'all done this so this will be our fourth year doing okay it. Mm -hmm. so you're an experienced shooter now um, I would like to say I know how to shoot <laughs> it I'm not a good shooter yeah <laughs> but it's a fun event I enjoy it yeah and now and then you have a golf tournament right Ethicon every year and I want to say this is our 21st year that they wow. they've sponsored and put on this event and they are so wonderful they do all of the groundwork and everything for it we kind of support it and help help promote it but they they do all the work for it we've got to give them credit because this this is their big fundraiser that they do every year they do stuff all year but this one they do it's a it's a big deal and I think a lot of people know about that because it's been it's around, been around for forever such a long yeah. time yeah okay but now I want to talk about the really fun one that Billy referred to which was the uh, the derby party and that happened 
happens uh, at the beginning of the year. Right. We haven't quite set the date yet. We're still trying to iron out location and specific date, but it's we had it early February last year, or excuse me, this year. Yeah. But last campaign season, and we're we're going to try to do it at the same time period because it seems like there's not a whole lot going on. People are yeah, more willing to come out. Yeah, it's a great time of year to do it. And, and it, it gets them out of the house. People love to wear yeah. the big hats yes. and wear the seersucker and but all But it that. was so much fun. We were looking for uh, an event that other people don't really do because it, you know, it gets really hard sometimes to be creative and find stuff yeah. that's not done 80 other times in the, in right. the year here. So um, found some information online and did a little bit of research and talked to a couple other nonprofit groups around that have done them um, that I could find and, and got some some good you know feedback on how to set it up and yeah. I think we did really good the first year. Well, it, was, it sounds it like was a it fun event because you outgrew your venue, we, so now you get bigger and yeah. better. And that's just one thing that's so difficult here is yeah. that when you want to have a big crowd, it's hard to find the space. So that's why we're still juggling. We're working a bit. on that. I know. We I'm are so working excited. on a venue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited because that's that's the that's the biggest challenge. Yeah. And you know we we did our fundraising event a couple of years ago at Yona Mountain Vineyards and it was great mm -hmm. but it's it's not in Habersham right. County and we'd really like to keep it here so so we're working hard to figure out how to make that happen. Yeah well and I know that in addition to those fundraising events that people can actually uh, attend there's lots of other ways that people can donate and I know there's um, you can do payroll deductions tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about how you can give money without if you can't make it to the event. So Billy goes around um, every year once we get campaign kicked off and he'll do with some of the larger companies or and even some of the medium sized I would say he'll go and he'll do presentations or provide information for their HR group um, that you can get signed up for through payroll deductions at work but if by chance your work doesn't offer that possibility we can set it up now ourselves and you can get that information online or by calling Billy where we can set it up where there's an automatic debit out of your account yeah you know once a month quarterly or that's annually. a great idea yeah. yeah and then it just happens and you don't have to really right. think about it so how can I know Billy talked about it but if, if folks from the community want to get involved what's what's your message to them I would say uh, first opportunity would be to volunteer for an event and yeah. kind of get to see what we do um, and then also there's opportunities. I'm sure Billy would not say no if someone wanted to come help and volunteer sure. at the office and do some stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and help him out. Um, but, you know, or sit on one of the allocations panel. To right. me, that is the most informed position as a volunteer you can have with this group because yeah. you really see what the money does and what all of our efforts all year do. Right. And I think it's important to mention, too, about the volunteer. This is a volunteer-driven organization. You guys completely donate your time. Right. And I In addition to your full-time jobs, you're doing this out of the goodness of your own heart. And Right. Our campaign manager happens to be a Phil Dill fellow employee yeah. as well. And I'm just blessed to work for a company that's so passionate about United Way anyway. Yeah. So they, but they, you know, they encourage us and allow us to participate and do this. So it's good. And, and same thing as Ethicon. They, you know, they, they're always there to step up and help. And so are all the banks and, you know, everybody else. We definitely have a huge support system here in Habersham. We're really yeah. so lucky. But we can always use more volunteers. That's right. Always. Yes. <laughs> There's never a cutoff when it comes to fundraising and volunteers. And, and you guys have a Facebook page. People can go on Facebook, keep up with the we events that are coming. Instagram, mm -hmm. obviously the website that Billy mentioned earlier. So thank you so much for all you, you do and all the time that you contribute. And I'm looking forward to these fun events coming up this fall. Awesome. We'll be right back. Stay with us. More talk coming up on today's Chamber Chat. We'll be right back with Mary Beth and her guest. Leave your old TV service behind and experience the future of entertainment with Kinetic TV, the next generation entertainment designed with you in mind. With just a few clicks on the new Kinetic TV guide, you can record one show or a series, plus the power to replay and instantly watch the past 72 hours of previously aired programming. Access your recordings on the go with Cloud DVR. Kinetic TV, the next generation in entertainment. And that's a wrap for our September show of Chamber Chat. Remember, if you or your business or organization would like to be featured, give us a call, 706-778-4654. Stay tuned next month when we hit the road again to visit all the other wonderful businesses and places in Habersham County. Have a great week. Thanks for joining us. 
We hope you enjoyed today's program and hope to see you again next time. Chamber Chat on the Road is a community service of Kinetic TV.